Hello, welcome to another post from Dr. Blake's Healing Soul. Today, Aphrodite, our athletic trainer, will show a patient where uh, the typical teenager would get Osgood Slaughter's disease or syndrome and, and how to appropriately stretch it. Osgood Schlatter's disease, um, the main point right here is the tibial tuberosity, which is marked. And so the best way to stretch it is uh, quad stretching, but because it'll probably be really painful to do a lot of knee flexion, then I usually have the patient use a chair when they stretch. And so I'll have them put their foot up on the chair and then go as far as they can down into a quad stretch until they feel a nice stretch here, but without pain in the tibial tuberosity region. And how long do they stretch? For stretching, you want to hold about 30 seconds and then repeat a few times. And so should it ever be painful? No, never. Okay. And should they ice afterwards? It's good to ice it, um, especially if there's any inflammation or pain, because it'll decrease that with the ice. And how long should they ice it? Icing is uh, anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. Time. And an ice pack is as good as the ice massage? Yeah, well, it depends. If it's a smaller region, it's better to use ice massage. And if it's a larger region, it's better to use an ice pack. Is, is Osgood Slaughter's a small area or a big area? It's a pretty small area, actually. Um, so they can, they can use either one. Um, but because it's kind of bony, I'd probably use an ice pack as opposed to ice massage in this case. 